Hello, uh, let me review a few things we've learned in class. If I take a plane, and if let's say I need more subdivision, 3 to be in polygon, Shift D, and I usually go SDS, but this time I'll stay faceted because I don't want to smooth it, I just want to add more division. Here we go. So I do this a few times. You can also press D to do it without the pop up instead of Shift D. Then I select where I want to make the hole. Uh, shift up arrow to grow. And here we've got a very good script called um, Deform Radial. And if you click to apply it, Q to draw, B to bevel, um, it would do a perfect circle. Very, very useful in subdivision surfaces. Uh, I'm just doing a shift click to redo the the bevel. So now if we go tab, we've got a perfect circle. Once again, if you want this to be sharp, uh, you can add loop or press L and just do B. Uh, and you still have access in two to your edges. You could do W and move this down. Okay, if you want new edges, it's Z, like edge extend, you click and it would give you a new row of edges again. It's almost doing like a bevel here, in a way. Uh, voila. Uh, what else did I... Uh, the pen tool. I wanted to review a little bit the pen. To switch view, you can go Control Spacebar and just... You don't have to click hover on top of the view you, you need. So this is one way of doing it. You can stay full screen and then go maybe left. S uh, snapping is here. When it's checked, it's on. means it'll snap to something. Alt click to uh, access the option. I'm going to go grid. Make sure to turn it off when you're not using it. And make sure you have an empty layer selected. And the pen is here. Very useful tool. Used a lot in video game. And you could do a whole... Uh, human face with this but here I'm just snapping to the grid as you can tell and I'm just drawing a polygon so I did a mistake here I think you can move them yeah there are also the topology pen was really powerful but we'll see that in a different lesson Q to drop the tool uh, control spacebar camera to go back, shift A, uh, alt to turn. To give it thickness, just do a uh, turn of the snap, uh, thicken, blue arrow, Q, two to be in edges, make sure you deselect so everything is selected, B. So you see very quick we can actually build um, a mesh using just a few tools. Um, so we'll do more pen in the next video actually but I just wanted to give you a, a heads up um, let's do the launch chair I was showing right click primitive cube so this is a one meter by one meter so actually for a long chair it'll be uh, pretty good um, edge add loop make sure you're in both sides and just eyeball it. We could type measurement or percentage, but eyeball is fine. Q, add loop again, uncheck the both side, and shift click. Same thing, just eyeball it and shift click. Q, three to select the polygon, delete, two to select the edges, and Z to extend. You see the one I just, and you click anywhere, the one I just showed. Leave a hair of a space, Q, and then you can zoom in, go in point, and here there's a tool called uh, Vertex or Point, Drag Weld, which is very nice. You don't need to select, let me deselect. Uh, you don't even need to be in point actually, as long as you get the drag weld. And you click and you drag, and as long as it snap, it means it's merged. Uh, it looks like this one was selected because it looks like it's been done. No, it was undone. So sorry. Here. So you don't want to click here. You want to click on the point. This guy.
Voila. Q. And we're almost done. To close this, we can just go Edge, select both using Shift, and now a simple bridge with one segment will finish it. Q. We can scale in subcomponents so we don't get any uh, values here. And then we can go edge, add loop again. So first of all, we can test it. If you go tab and it's clean, it uh, means it'll do a good job. Um, each object mesh has a surface. So you see, if you have a numpad and you go plus, you'll go up to four, five here. But this is just the display. But at render time, I do want it to be quite smooth, so you can put this. So, untab, uh, add loop, both sides, and now you're going to add where you think you need some. It doesn't work because my mesh was not selected. If I did work, but it looked weird. Here we go. Make sure the mesh is selected. So here. Not, don't come too too close, it'll be too sharp, just a little bit like this. And once again, just eyeball. Wrong one, undo, sh hold shift, and voila. And basically you do this on every side. If you miss one, it'll be easy. When you go tab, you'll have one corner with, with smooth, with not sharp. Uh, will be very roundy. Uh, I think I nailed all of them. Q, tab. You see now it's good. So there's still a few things we can do. We can go in point, middle click, move this down, Q. Um, we can go in polygon, three, local action center. And now when you select those poly, you can go W and move them with the blue away from each other. You could do the same with those one, actually. That will make it more 3D. Um, w, use the blue just a hair. Then you can come back to make it less flat. Use those one with the blue. OK? Uh, other thing you can do is maybe push a few more or less so they look not the same. Uh, don't know why I'm in edge extend, W. That's interesting. Local W. Why does W does. Oh, because I'm in French. My bad. That happened. I must have pressed a key. Um, Voila. Uh, other thing you can do, you could go in point like this and just move, uh, don't grab the one on the back, uh, just move this uh, here. You see like this, that is even too much and that will make it more realistic. Um, often people uh, end up just moving point around. There's also um, a jitter tool but I'm not a huge, huge fan, but if you do a little bit of it, it might help. Uh, let me show you. Under Deform, if you click and hold Smooth, there's a cheater. And you click to apply it. Don't know why it's not working. Yeah, no, it is working. Uh, you just don't get a, a visual. So just a little bit, maybe 2 mil, maybe here 3 mil. Uh, and two mil, and it's just gonna jitter a little bit. We could just put two everywhere. Click here to get it everywhere. Voila, and then you can go back and put three here. In 3ds Max, this works really well. Uh, also, uh, Blender has a, a cloth command who does this a bit better. Uh, I think that's it. Is there anything I missed? Um, so yeah, basically uh, try to break those uh, those line here.
See, that's a bit too much, but uh, make it less square. Uh, trying to think. No, I think I show what I wanted to show. 